Hey guys, welcome back to The Last Door, Chapter 3, Part 3. In the last one, we found this mask, played some really creepy hide-and-seek, got a working lamp, and heard this creepy laughter. Let's find out what the laughter's all about now. The laughter's coming from behind the curtains. I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. It's a porcelain doll with lifelike proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her featureless, but its wig shines brightly as though of human hair. The record is scratched. It's repeating on loop. Can we turn that off? Thank you. If the hair removed, the doll is even more unsettling. <laughs> Laughing and crying. Okay, well, we can just leave all of those off for now. Thank you. Creepy. Very creepy. <clears throat> Let's find door number three. A painting of a beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. No, no. No, no, no! Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last note you screwed into me? Middle C up to A, measure G up to C, tied F, second violin, bar two, middle C up to A, double note E, G, C. No! This was supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C up octave, and then up to G. What, 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 do, who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see that I'm creating the angel's voice, the work? C to A, an octave higher, a fragile voice flutters around in strophe. No, 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 no! Hands swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. Are you all right, sir? My inspiration too is lost, quite lost in the fog and the notes moan, just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne, the best soloist that a composer could have, the voice of an angel, what made my music possible. She would stand there by the window, the wind caressed her cheeks, it danced in her golden hair, her dress glowed like an ember in the dusk sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice. It came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. Weird man. I'm following a man, though he can't come to think of it. Maybe he is following me. He has red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man, too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music, remains beautiful, but it's a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now. Not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Maybe we put the stuff on this? The mask will fall off in this state. We'll have to repair it first. Uh-huh. Paper bound up in a roll that seems to be discarded musical score. Can't use that to tie that up. A rolled up score of music. There are so many deletions and corrections that it's impossible to read. Do you want that? These old scores, dull, devoid of grace. Get them away from me. Okay, the wallpaper is torn. Taylor's mannequin, why is it beside the window? Because that's where his love once stood, and we're gonna build it for him so he can feel motivated to do stuff and stuff. Uh, let's see, I tried doing that, right? Yeah. Didn't think so, but you never know. Okay, let's try this ladder over here. What is this? 
This cage must have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. I can't reach the feather from here. Can we use that? If I blow through the paper roll, maybe I could manage to make the feather fly. Wasn't expecting that to work, but that wasn't what I was thinking. I thought we'd stick that through. I got it. It's a big back, big back. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in the base. Nope. Okay. Well, we got that out. What's over here? This piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. There was a key hidden under the key. Well, that's convenient. It looks like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. Okay, that key's probably to the wardrobe, so let's go open up the wardrobe. Getting stuff done! Boom shakalaka. There's an elegant scarlet party dress inside. Take it. Nothing else. Okay. So we need to find a way to repair this mask. I'm not sure what else we can do about that. We have a little bit- a new area we can go outside though, so maybe that's gonna help us. What's up, homeboy? Yes, just right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. What else? She looks like one of Raphael's angels. Is that good enough yet? No, no. Okay, we need to find a way to repair this. I don't think it's gonna hold with just that. Okay, what can we use to repair a mask? Like glue, tape, cloth? Not a feather. Hmm. Sorry about that guys, the game crashed, but we were right back where we just were. Now let's try going back into this room again. Okay, only see part of the outdoors. No. I mean, none of this makes sense. I'm just praying for some kind of weird miracle. Dolls, even more unsettling. Can we put that on there? No. How about a feather on there? No. Can we take the thing off? <laughs> okay, I don't want to listen to you laughing or crying, man. Hopefully it's not part of the puzzles, like the sound of tears or laughter makes that guy want to play more. Okay, pretty sure we got everything out of this first room. We'll check anyway real quick. Can we melt the mask? No. I didn't think so. Uh, where'd that lady go downstairs, I guess? Or was she ever really there at all? What is this? An old bottle of Saint Million Grand Cru is covered in dust. Nope. Nope. I guess let's see what's out here. Mold covers the wood stacked in this shed. Okay, there's a stump. Judging by the resin oozing on the surface, this tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. So why would there be mold already on the wood? The door's locked, I can't even move it. The walls of the mausoleum are crumbled with age. Yeah. Okay, nothing else we can do right there. Well, what are we missing here? We're missing something. I think I see something on the other side of that window, but from here I can't distinguish what it is. Aha! Okay, there's something. There's some clue. Okay, back up here. Maybe it's a key, or maybe it's something we can use to fix that, uh... That window was right here, right? There's no window in this room, so it's not in this one. The layout of this house. Oh, it must be, maybe it's at the very end where that guy is, where it's the lady is. 
Uh, I think. I don't know, the orientation of this didn't make much sense to me. Let's just double check. I want to see part of the outdoors. Oh, come on. Let me look out the window. There's something on the window. Let me get it. Wasn't in the attic. Was it? Maybe. No? Oh, come on. Um... Seriously? I can't get it from the end here? You're confusing me, man. Why can't I open- why can't I op look out the window here? I know there's something there. Okay. Maybe I need to look around for something to reach that with? I don't know. That confuses me a little bit, not gonna lie. This room had no window. Okay, well that puts a, a damper in the plan. That doesn't appear to be useful. Is there anything else useful in here? Mm, apparently not. So how do I reach that thing? Why am I a dumb? Can't distinguish what it is. Can we climb up on this? I mean, looks like we should be able to. On the other side of the window. Is that just the mannequin? Is that a clue we need to fix this mannequin somehow? I wish I knew how to fix this mask. A giant crow feather. Well... I'm assuming this isn't gonna be enough. No, we can't <clears throat> get through there just... <clears throat> excuse me, just yet. Um, discarded papers. Can you help me any more, lady? Can I cook the mask? No. Do you want a feather? No. Mask? No. Um, running out of ideas. What can I use to fix this mask? Um, empty rusted out drums. I am at a loss for words here. I probably missed something very simple or very stupid. So we're about out of time here anyway, guys, so... I might just go ahead and end this one here and then uh, pick back up where we left off in the next one and... Walk around and see what I can find out.
All right, we'll pick this back up in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been The Last Door, Chapter 3, Part 2. Stay tuned for Part 3, where, uh... Oh, wait, is this Part 3? Stay tuned for Part 4? Yeah. Stay tuned for Part 4, where we're gonna solve the mystery of this mask. Until next time. See ya, guys! I like the outside a lot more than I like being in any house.